G'day there, I'm Fast Ed, and I'm going to share with you one of the fantastic new recipes from a new book, and Hours the Limit. Now you'll find this little beauty on page 53. And for those of you who don't believe it's possible to make an amazing family meal in just minutes, here's the proof. This is the ultimate omelette. And it all starts just by cracking three eggs into a bowl. That'll suit one person. Now when they're lightly whisked together, you're going to add two tablespoons of cream and a little bit of salt and pepper for seasoning. But here's an important point. Whenever you're doing any kind of an egg dish, leave the black pepper alone. You want the ground white pepper. The reason is, I reckon black pepper in your eggs looks like a bug fell into it. So we're less than 30 seconds done and we're already good for the frying pan. Now, you want a good non-stick frying pan and a sprinkle of cooking oil. Don't bother about the butter or the liquid oil, they just actually make the omelette fall apart. A light sprinkle and set it over a medium heat. Now the real trick to an omelette is one of these. A heat proof plastic spatula. Or alternately you could use a wooden spoon, but it has to have a flat bottom to it. Because the idea is you're not going to whisk it, you're not going to stir it with a fork. What you want to do is start off by gently scraping the bottom of the pan just until the egg begins to set. And then we can leave it alone to form that lovely sheet. But first of all we're going to pour in the eggs. All right, gently does it. While the egg begins to set, it's time to look at the filling. Now, pretty much with an omelette, you can put anything you like in there. I do advise, though, you want to avoid the really wet kind of fillings. With one exception, tomatoes. I can't live without tomatoes. But what we're going to grab is some shaved ham, some grated vintage cheddar cheese, fresh spinach leaves, just because they're good for you, and some cherry tomatoes sliced in half. Scatter them across the top as much as you like, or as little if you're a bit more partial to the egg. Just get it all in there, and then we'll be ready to flip over. Now you want to know the real secret to turning out a perfect omelette? If you're right-handed, you want to load up the ingredients on the left side of the handle. If you're left-handed, guess what? It's the reverse. The reason is, you're going to flip the top over, and this will make it easier to turn it out. If you do it the other way, it's kind of like trying to juggle snowballs in a Sahara Desert environment. It ain't going to happen. So, left-hand side for righties, right-hand side for lefties. Well, it's looking good, but we can do even better. We need some perfume to it. If you've ever wondered what herbs actually do in cooking, they're mostly about the, the smell. Chives are lovely and fresh with a bit of an onion aftertaste. that will suit this just perfectly. Go generous though, I reckon a quarter of a bunch for each one. Then it's just a matter of folding the top over and cooking it really gently for another minute or so until the cheese melts and the egg is fully firm. Now, if you're worried about a little bit of a crack on the underside of your omelette, don't be. This is perfectly normal. And the main thing is, this is the invisible bit. The reason that it will crack occasionally is the addition of cream. That's what makes the omelette more tender to eat. And to be honest, out of sight, out of mind. Well, let me show you what I mean about it being easy to turn out. Because it's on the left-hand side of the pan, I'm naturally going to tilt towards it. Simply grab your plate, invert over the top, turn together, and Bob's your mother's brother. Then all you need is some leaves to make it feel even more healthy. A good swizzle of olive oil for flavour and that hint of the Mediterranean. And there you have a magnificent family meal all prepared in under 10 minutes. Now anybody can do this at home. And all the secrets you'll find on page 53 of my new book, An Hour's the Limit. So, grab a copy and get cooking.